hi guys welcome to my channel i hope you're all doing well just want to firstly start off by saying sorry i've not uploaded in the past couple of weeks for those of you that follow me on my social media you'll already know that i've been having problems with the camera on my phone i've had problems with it ever since i started my channel but it finally ended up packing up completely so i've had to get my myself a new phone sorted so now I've got a new phone I'm hoping that you'll notice a difference in the quality of my videos and now I'm not struggling to record I can upload a lot more often today's video is another collab with Helen Helen's a really talented artist I'm gonna link her social media in the description box below so you can go and check her out this set took me ages to do so I've sped the video right up also to make the video even shorter I've gone in with a coat of white gel polish on all four nails because some of the gel polishes what I'm using um, they're neon gel polishes and they're quite translucent so I find if you use them over a white gel polish they seem to be more opaque and they look brighter as well so all four nails are going to have a vertical ombre so what I've done so far is I've gone in with the Venalisa green neon gel paint then I've applied the nail wind yellow neon gel polish all the products that I use in this video I'm going to link in the description box below I've not got an ombre brush so I'm just using a detailer brush which is what I always do my ombres with anyway and I'm just kind of mixing the two together and then I shall just fan it up and down the nail until I'm happy with the ombre then once I'm happy with it I'll put it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. These two colours ombre together really well actually. I was really happy with that. Now I'm going in with the Nail Wind Neon Yellow Gel Polish again. Then on the opposite side I'm going to use a Venalisa Neon Orange Gel Polish. This one's really translucent. I found it quite hard to ombre. I'm only going to show you me doing one coat on all the nails. Because like I said, this video is really long. But I did do two coats on all the nails. And actually, this one did look alright after the second coat. If you have a go at doing this yourself, you need to make sure that you put the right colour on the right side of the nail. So the colours... Are next to each other oh, how do I explain this <laughs> you'll see what I mean when the nails are all together so like the orange is on the left hand side of this nail so the next nail the orange needs to be on the right hand side so it flows properly across each nail so I'm happy with that I'm gonna put it in the lamp for 60 seconds to cure so yeah, now I'm doing the orange on the right hand side of this nail. That's the Venalisa Neon Orange. Then on the left hand side, I'm using the Coskelia number no. five, which is their bright red. This one was quite difficult to ombre. Well, the first coat was anyway because like I said the orange is quite translucent and that red is really really opaque so I was struggling to get that to ombre together really well but again the second coat it turned out alright I'm not too worried about getting the first coat absolutely perfect it's the second coat really you need to worry about the most that don't look too bad really so I'm going to put that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Now, on the left hand side, I'm using the Coskelia number no. 9, which is their bright pink. 
and then on the right hand side I shall be using the Coskelia number no. 5 which is the red and these blended together really well especially because they're quite similar colours anyway and with the consistency being very similar it just made them really easy to blend together put that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds so that's all four of the nails on braid and now I'm going in with the detail actually I don't even think I said these are bandana nails so I'm using a long striping brush there I'm gonna do a line across the top and a line down the side making a rectangle and then I'm going to do an, another rectangle inside of that one. And once I've done that, I'm going to flash cure that in my lamp for 10 seconds just to hold it in place in case I knock it or in case I make a mistake with the next bit, I can just like rub it out and I ain't got to worry about removing any of them lines as well. I'm using the Model Ones black gel paint and that is a Klinsky triple zero detailer brush. There's not really much I can tell you about what I'm doing here. The design's pretty much similar on each nail as well so I think what I'll do is I'll pop some music on and just let you watch what I'm doing.
sun's about to go down So what you doing tonight? It's everything I can't think of Waking up at noon Wasting time is all I do
and that's the black detail all done now I've got the white detail to do for the white detail I'm using the Francesca Japanese art gel paint I really like this gel paint because it's got a really nice thick consistency unless if you knock it it just doesn't move at all right again I'm going to pop some music on and I'll just let you watch what I'm doing and I'll be back with you at the end of the video
Right guys, we're now coming towards the end of the video. I really hope you like this set. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing. Also, if there's anything you'd like to see me do on my channel, just leave me a comment down below. It's always nice to know what you guys like to see. And you'll probably want me to do something that I wouldn't think of doing myself. So, yeah, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to do. I'm now going in with the Neo Neo's Urban Graffiti Ultra Matte Top Coat. Then I'm going to pop them in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And that's the set complete. So thank you all for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Also, go and check Helen out. Her links are in the description box below. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.